once again welcome to in this session so uh, here we will learn about the studio centers uh, this is the one of the important topics in uh, isomerisms uh, we uh, face uh, it's another term is also called as the stereogenic center so and sometimes we call as the chiral centers so there are three different types of uh, terms are there and we need to clarify all these terms so that we can solve problems let us see what is actually issue center sir uh, issue center it is an atom uh, that has at least three different attachment so i am mentioning it is a uh, it is an atoms or you can see the atoms which have three different attachment and uh, when you are interchanging of any two of these attachment when you are interchanging or you can say swapping this uh, two different this attachment you will get a new studio isomer this is a studio centers now let us see what is chiral centers the chiral centers uh, is an uh, atom which have four different groups and this group must be uh, asymmetric or you can say substituents it may may not have chirality so it may if it, if it has chirality uh, then the, it is optically active so it may not have chirality so this means that uh, it is a uh, it's a, a plane it has plane of symmetry why it is does not have chirality because uh, it must have internally a plane of symmetry that's why uh, its chirality is chirality is lost that is it is not an optically active and one more term is a trigonal center so we can say that any double bond which is capable of form capable of forming an e and z type of isomers or we can say a chiral it is a a chiral so that is called a uh, trigonal center so normally uh, we can found in uh, find in uh, geometrical isomers let us understand uh, this concept through uh, examples it will be more clear so in the example say uh, this is a compound so we have you can see uh, this uh, carbon and this carbon so among this two carbon which is chiral and which is your stereo center we have two terms there so in this case you can see the cl and this one group one group here uh, this is cs3 and the whole group the four groups are there so we can say stereo center is here and but in case you see stereo center so that two methyl group is present so this is not an stereo center so here stereo center is there and chiral center is also there now in this case you can see one two three groups so that four groups are different groups are there so we can say this is your our uh, stereo center is Uh, there because four different groups are there and you can after exchanging also we can um, the groups are different so stereo center is also there and chiral center is also there now in this case uh, here is oh so in this case can we can see uh, there is uh, this different groups and there different groups one hydrogen is present here hydrogen present here so this is your uh, stereo centers is present here and chiral center is not present here here if you see the two methyl group again so they get no stereo center the yeah, issue center is no so this is not a chiral center under these conditions so if you see carefully this is your uh, one group here cl here and this is a, and fourth is their hydrogen so this is our stereo center is there and chiral center is also there now in this case if you see carefully so this is the ocs3 here different here different here different so it has stereo center yes same thing if you see observe this carbon different this carbon different which is attached with the ocs3 and this carbon is the hydrogen so stereo center here so this is a stereo center is also there and chiral center is also there now in this case we have uh, you can see the uh, three points so this is the one point this is the second point and second two points is there so this is not a stereo center but this is your stereo center why one two and this whole group and this whole group both are different so stereo center is here but the chiral center is also there in this case here not next examples in this case is it chiral so let us see uh, so stereo center is there so one this whole group is there and third group is there in this case one group is there is there so uh, in this case what happens so the three different groups are present okay and uh, even uh, this group if you exchange it what happens and uh, these two groups three groups so is the uh, you will get a different product so this is also stereo center here so yes uh, here again stereo center is there so again yes but you can can you see uh, this is the chiral centers it also have chiral centers it also have chiral centers 
okay so center is also there is due center is also there but the molecule is optically inactive why because uh, if you draw the plane of symmetry so in this case it is optically inactive but chiral center is present so chiral center may or may not be present but here it is present now in this case uh, is it is center so we can see one two and this whole group is there so this is stu center is this answer is yes in this case stu center is there so you can see two group is there so it is not here is it is stu center uh, stuogenic center is there so one oh one coh and one whole group answer is yes third is hydrogen Similarly, this is also yes, but KIT is not there because if you draw the plane of symmetry, so it is again optically inactive compound. Now we have next examples, uh, this molecule. So uh, let us take this two group is there. So is it uh, stereogenic center? So if you see carefully, this is two methyl group. So this can swap each other. So swapping can be possible between these two methyl group. So this is not stereogenic center. Now in this case, are this uh, stereogenic centers again? This uh, methyl groups again? No, no stereogenic center is not there. It's not a chiral also. Now in this case, uh, you can see the points. So this will not take because this is an aromatic compound. So we'll choose this point, this point, this point, and this and four point is there. So again, this is uh, your chiral uh, stereogenic centers, and yes, this is stereogenic center. Yes, why? A different group is there. One, two, and three. And one fourth again, different group is there. One whole group, two, three, and one hydrogen four. And then yes, but this is no. Why no? Because uh, this amine is your um, again is your aliphatic, and this will undergo your amine inversion. This amine inversion due to amine inversion, its chirality is lost. But uh, it has estrogenic center, so we can say it has. Uh, it has no chirality. Okay, but you can see it has estrogenic center, so we can say. Uh, so it is a yes uh, they have stereogenic center stereogenic center is there the three group is there but it's not a chiral molecule now in this case double bonded so double bonded uh, is a diagonal uh, center and which you can see uh, this uh, two atoms can be interchanged each other so this is a stereogenic center yes now in this molecule is it into stereogenic center so again uh, these two molecules can exchange the we will get a cis and uh, transform like this one so again you can say yes this is to your centers but in this molecule problem is uh, if uh, this is uh, if suppose this is let us see one examples here so but if both came uh, same methyl methyl so in this case uh, this is not an estrogenic center here is your uh, center is absent why absent uh, because uh, these two can on swapping so you will get the same molecule on interchange of this methyl methyl you will get the same so this whole molecule is not in estrogen centers so when you are whenever you are taking double bond the, the two must be estrogen center uh, one we cannot take it should be two so answer is uh, if you take one this is one two and this whole is three so interchange of uh, this will if you interchange this and this and this and this you will get same molecule that's why is not an estrogen, it has not estrogenic centers. Now, here um, uh, is it estrogenic centers? Answer is uh, yes. So one lone pair is there, one, two, three. So, lone pair is it has estrogenic centers. Now, in this case, uh, it has estrogenic centers. So, answer is uh, this is estrogenic center. So yes. If this carbon has estrogenic centers, answer is yes. Uh, if this uh, carbon has estrogenic center, answer is again yes. So, there are uh, estrogenic center is again here is three. Now in this molecule, which is estrogen center, so again you can see it is a, it has yes, it has yes, it has yes. So there are three estrogenic center over here. Now in this carbon, is it uh, how many points are there? One, two. So this two is again estrogen center. You can see they have different groups. So one is uh, again you can see this is different. Again this is uh, Br. This is your again from here is there. Okay, one group here and one group here. Okay, so uh, there are different group groups are there. This is one group, this is one group. So we can say it has estrogenic center. So answer will be. So this having a two estrogenic center. One this one, one this one.